What's up guys? If you've ever owned this Gen Explorer, this is probably something you ran into. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change this plastic thermostat housing. Let's get started. Okay, so looking inside the engine bay, you can see that this is the thermostat housing. Here's your water neck. Underneath there is the thermostat. Here's your engine coolant temperature sensor and then another bypass hose. There's a hose that comes out the bottom. What we're going to do first is take off this first cap. We're going to get the thermostat out of there because the new thing didn't come with the thermostat. We're going to pull your sensor and we're also going to pull off some of these lines so that we're ready to pull the whole unit out. Let's get started. Great little tool if you don't have it, some of these. Use it to pinch off the heater hose and you don't have to worry about much spilling. Fix them up. Make sure you pull out your thermostat. What you're going to want to do is pull this top ring off. So ring. You're going to want to check for any cracks or seal damage uh, to see if it needs to be replaced. Let's continue. Now that we pulled the water neck off, what we're going to want to do is we're going to unclip the temperature sensor, get this hose off, and then we'll get this hose off. Let's get after it. Now that we pulled the sensor out of the old thermostat housing, what we're going to want to do is check this O-ring, make sure that there's no issues. Then we're going to insert it in the new thermostat housing. As you can see, this hose has been disconnected. Now we got to disconnect this one down on the bottom. Pull these three bolts out, and then the whole housing should lift off. So now we have the bad thermostat housing out. Make sure that this is cleaned up so you got a good sealing surface. Check your new thermostat housing for a gasket in the bottom that mates to this. And then just put it in the same way you've got it out. Probably start with this hose here. Make sure you torque these three bolts and these three bolts to around 85 inch pounds. Okay guys, so as you can see we got her all buttoned up. Next thing to do, top her off with some 50-50 antifreeze. Should be good to go. Make sure you fire it up, get it up to running temperature, check for leaks, and you'll be on your way. Well guys, as we went this thing up to running temperature, looks like we had a successful job. Hope yours goes just as successfully. Have a good one.